internet friends. As per usual, I have a thrift haul for you guys. Another week, another thrift haul. What is life? This week I went to Deseret Industries. Now Deseret, I realize, isn't widely available across the US. In fact, I think they're only located in California and Vegas. Actually, let's find out. Uh, wrong. They are located in California, Nevada, Arizona, Idaho, Oregon, Washington, and one in Texas. Okay, so there you have it. Deseret is like, you know, a sliver of the United States. You guys have it available. The point of this video is I was gonna take you guys along with me to Deseret, maybe show you guys around a little bit, and then jump right into the haul video. So definitely stay tuned, but for now, let's go ahead and head out to Deseret. So Deseret is quickly becoming one of my favorite places in Las Vegas to shop. It gives me very 90s department store vibes just with the way that the harsh lighting is set up and everything is very circular patterns. Some of the pros with Deseret is you can still find some hidden gems, especially with vintage. If you scour this place, you can find some vintage that is so insanely stellar. I also really like that the store is set up by sections. So suits are in one area, skirts are in another area, and they do a fantastic job of keeping it very well organized. Some of the cons are definitely the price points. They definitely look on eBay for sold listings and price up because let me tell you, some of this stuff is insanely priced. Not to mention they do lock up a lot of the really good stuff, which you know when they do that, they're doing their fair share of research. And even though I really like the way that the circular racks are set up, I do have to say you are probably going to get in someone's way. They remind me of traffic circles, like it's just chaotic and until you know how to maneuver it, you're going to be apologizing to people left and right because you're going to be in their way. Sorry, go ahead. On this trip specifically, I was concentrating more on clothes, but of course, you know, I had to go see if I can seek out my Prada-esque bag and those Chelsea boots that have been an ongoing saga on this channel. But alas, I did not find what I was looking for. For continuity sake, I was really hoping that I could still use the sunlight for this video, but it has been completely overcast and yes, it's been a few days since I filmed my last intro, but I'm still wearing the same sweater. Okay, so let's talk about everything that I found at Deseret Industries. For starters, I picked up this silk blouse which I actually paired with another outfit that I found at Deseret like a few weeks ago. It was a two piece set that gave me very 90s vibes, but the minute I put this blouse on because it had puff sleeves, it actually started to give me super Annie Hall vibes. So I was very excited about this one. I just thought like overall, it was just super cute. It especially got my attention because it has the little dart pleating on it, which I think when you tuck that into pants, it just gives it that much more of like an effortlessly styled look. Plus on top of that, it was silk. So of course that means that it's like stellar quality. So overall, I thought that blouse would be a very good addition to my wardrobe. I always have to have a favorite and I think this one is hands down my favorite piece that I picked up, but this is another two piece set. I'm telling you because Deseret is so on top of their organization game, finding a two piece set at that location is just so easy. This one is probably like a 1990s Y2K set. It is the jacket and the dress combo, but I thought the color tone and everything was just so good together. I was a little nervous on this one just because uh, it is a synthetic. So naturally I get a little nervous that like maybe it's not gonna feel very comfortable or you know, it's just gonna look cheap put together but it instantly just created a really good outfit. I also think this dress is gonna be stellar for layering. Like I could totally wear this on its own just as the single piece, kind of like as a jumper dress. And then of course, if I wanna throw this into the mix, it just perfectly matches. So that was an insanely good pickup that I am just so stoked about. Okay, next up, this is one of those brands that I will actually pay full price for. Like I buy from this brand's website quite often just because they make insanely good staple pieces that actually 
fit me really well and they do last like they're good quality it is borderline fast fashion so you guys know how i feel about promoting brands like that but i just i love this company oh it is unique low now these are slightly out of my size but i think belted gives it the paper bag finish that i enjoy so i did pick these up they are wide leg camel brown all the things that i like and again the pleating on the front it has the built-in darts on it so that just instantly gives it just such a good look such a good vibe okay and the last piece actually that's not true i picked up this as well and i wore it with the pants so that's also in the haul <laughs> Uh, this actually reminded me of a couple pieces that I've been putting on my Pinterest board. So when I saw this one, I was like, yes, this is going to make such a good outfit. I really want to find some like funky plaid pants as well to go with this. I think that will just be such a good look and it's a really good way to incorporate like if you can mix this color with plaid it's a really good way to bring this into like a fall time winter time vibe so i was very excited about this one and then the very last piece that i found are these high-waisted denim jeans the nice thing about this specific deseret location is it is very country western and i don't know if you guys have been following the vibe check that's going on on like instagram and everything but western is everywhere it's definitely the like cowgirl cowboy aesthetic is huge i had two pairs of western boots that like sold overnight in my store that had been sitting forever but it's like all of a sudden people are just looking for western items so I was really excited about those pants just because I think that brings in a Western theme into my wardrobe. I am still looking for the perfect pair of cowboy boots myself, but for right now, I think I will just stick to the denim jeans and just be super stoked about that look. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this little miniature tour of Deseret Industries. If you guys have one in your location, let me know uh, if you guys have ever been there and checked it out. I think it's a decent store. I'm excited to have one that is easily accessible. In Los Angeles, it was a little bit harder. It was like in a downtown location, so I just never really took the time to go check it out. I did go to the one in San Diego, and I thought that one was a good location. Uh, but overall, I'm very excited to have this one, like that I can easily check out. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, all those things. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. I don't know how I always end up in these tiny spaces, but this is literally my bed, my desk, and then this giant ass light. <laughs> I don't know, but I always make it work, you guys. Somehow, some way.